All right, so today we're going to talk about terminology. And this is uh, important so that we have a good education around uh, what's written on the whiteboard so we can talk to other people and um, know what they're saying and they know what, know what we're saying. Just like in anything, um, any hobby, any um, anything that you get involved with, whether it's CrossFit or your job or anything else like that, they have their own kind of lingo that goes along with it. So we're just gonna kind of talk so that we understand other people and we can talk educated to other people and we're not all confusing each other. So we're gonna first start off, we've got three different sections here. So CrossFit in general, then we got some acronyms or abbreviations, and then we have um, Olympic lifts, which is gonna be the big one. So first off in the CrossFit, a couple um, areas that I see people can on. So thruster, as far as the movement goes, um, this remember is just like a ball ball. You're going into a full front squat and then you're coming up out of that front squat fully extended up overhead. So again, just like a wall ball, all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion in the squat, full range of motion with the barbell overhead. This can be dumbbells, barbells, so it could be any object, it's just a front squat to overhead position. Metcon, this is short for metabolic conditioning. So this could be rowing by itself, this could be three rounds for time, this could be an AMRAP. Anything where we're doing conditioning metabolically. It doesn't necessarily have to be running or rowing or anything like that. It can be circuit training as well too, conditioning ones. Poo. This is a Russian measurement for kettlebells. So um, we kind of go by weights. You'll hear 35, 55, 75. <clears throat> so 35 pounds is typically one poo. 55 is typically 1.5, and 72 is typically two poots. So, in case anybody ever says that, you know, um, for kettlebells, you kind of know what it is, but in here we'll go off of weights. But a food is a kettlebell weight. Watt, so obviously workout of the day, but let's make sure that we understand this. When we're talking about the watt, we're not necessarily talking about the last piece. The last piece might be the metabolic conditioning piece or the conditioning piece. We talk about the law, we're talking about the whole thing, A, B, and C, or A and B, or whatever it might be for that day, the, all the parts, okay? Um, coloring system, as far as the weights go in here. So I wanted to go over this because some people um, get confused. So anything with uh, paint or tape or anything like that on it, um, typically will have uh, will be a specific weight according to this coloring system. So red is typically 10 pounds, white 15, green 25. Yellow is 35, blue is 45. This goes for barbells, kettlebells, um, plates. So um, anything that kind of has that coloring system to it. And then the last piece is going to be um, the three types of movements that we typically do in here at Classify Maps. So there's an externally loaded kind of movement. This is anything with uh, weight added to it. It could be holding a medicine ball or a kettlebell doing farmer's carries or whatnot. Or it could be moving a barbell or doing a wall ball. Those are all externally loaded kind of movements. Um, gymnastics movement, this is just another fancy way of saying body weight stuff, push-ups, pull-ups, air squats, box jumps, monostructural movements, and this is the one where people kind of uh, don't know what I'm talking about. This is the traditional cardio, running, rowing, jump rope, air dump, highly cyclical kind of things. So that's monostructural. Um, let's get into the acronyms. So here's a couple up here. I'm going to kind of leave it open-ended at the bottom with a couple question marks because there's more that we just kind of make up on the fly so we don't have to write everything out. But these are kind of the typical ones up here. So I'll start off with the simplest one. AMRAP, as many reps as possible. So it's not just rounds, it's reps. So 10 minute AMRAP, 20 minute AMRAP, you just keep going through and trying to get as many reps <coughs> in that time frame. KBS, kettlebell swing. DB, dumbbells. Uh, BS is back squat. FS is front squat. OHS, overhead squat, PP, push press, PJ, push jerk, S20, or S2O, shoulder to overhead, K to E, knees to elbows, T to B, toes to bar, MU is muscle ups, EMON, every minute on the minute, or OTN, on the minute, either one. Um, BSS, Bulgarian squat squat. Uh, TNG, touch and go. Uh, CGBB, close grip bench press. Um, SDLHP, sumo deadlift high five. RFT, rounds for time, three rounds, five, whatever numbers in front. 
uh, DVD is barbell. Um, TGU, Turkish get up. HSP, handstand push up. PR, personal record, personal best. Um, DU is double under, SU is single under. C and J, clean and jerk. Um, AD is air nine. And then G2O is ground to overhead. All right. <clears throat> Let's go over to the Olympic lifts now. Um, so, this is going to be the big one. This is the confusion, people not knowing what things mean. So, I'm going to make sure that we go through this extensively. <clears throat> so, we'll start off with the two, um, two big ones, the clean and the snatch. So, when we talk about the clean, we're talking about from ground to shoulder. If I just say we're going to do a clean, it is inferred you're going to squat with it. If I just say we're going to do a snatch, it is inferred we're going to squat with it. If I say we're going to do a power clean or a power snatch, that means you do not have to go into the full squat. You catch it above parallel. Or some people say squat clean instead of just clean. clean. But if you're talking to anybody and you say you did a clean or you did a snatch, they're going to assume that you did a full squat snatch or a full squat clean. So power is above parallel, either one, and then um, just the word by itself or with this, the squat, uh, squat added to it is below parallel. Again, clean is ground to shoulder, snatch is ground to overhead, both in one movement. Um, hang versus from the ground. So hang would be the barbell starting off the ground from hip, thigh, right below the knee. So you pick it up and then you stand fully and then you lower it into the hang position. Ground, the movement would start and initiate from the ground. We can do combinations. We can do a hanging clean. So that would be a full squat with a barbell would start from the hang. We can do a power snatch. Barbell would start from the ground, but you would receive the both parallel. So there's many different combinations. Again, clean, ground to shoulder, snatch, ground to overhead, both in one movement. Power above parallel, hang means it starts off the ground. All right. If I just say we're doing a clean, starts from the ground with a squat. If I say we're going to do a power hang or hang power snatch, starts from anywhere off the ground, but we'll receive it above a full squat or above ground. So make sure that we understand this. This is the big one right here. And then we're getting into the jerk. The jerk in Olympic lifting is from shoulder to overhead. So we have a couple different options: a push jerk, or some people call it a power jerk. It's basically a dip, a drive, and a drop underneath the bar, and your feet stay even. They don't split front to back. They stay even front to back. They might go a little bit wider. Split jerk, dip, drive, under the bar, feet go front to back in a split position. Either one's fine as long as your feet come back together and you come to full extension. So there's no crazy combinations. No snatch jerking, all right? You can clean and then jerk the bar. Okay, <clears throat> there's no jerk clean, all right? There's no cleaning snatch, all right? Hanging, jerking, cleaning, whatever. So you have to clean and then you jerk the bar up overhead once you get it to your shoulder. Snatch is by itself, ground to overhead in one movement, all right? You can apply the power or the hang, clean and jerk. You can apply the power or the hang to the clean, or you can call it a push jerk or a split jerk, depending upon which one you do. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, ask one of the coaches. <clears throat> and there's your lesson for today.